Hi guys, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel Lila Webdev. In this video, we will try to talk about the signal based child queries in Angular, focusing on the view child, content child, view children, and also the content children with signals. Let's go step by step through the key concepts and how to use these queries with examples. So, understanding the child queries in the Angular. So, child queries in Angular allow you to access elements or child components from the template of your component. These, these queries can be used for uh, single elements and also the multiple elements like uh, single elements means view child or the content child and multiple elements means view children or the content children so before angular 18 so if you try to understand before angular 18 we use decorators like at the rate view child and also at the rate content child etc to query child elements with angular 18 the new signal based queries approach allows you to access these elements via signals making it more reactive so how the signal based thing will work let's try to understand how the signal based queries work so a signal based query returns the results as signals allowing you to track and respond to changes more naturally you can also query with view child for querying a single element in from the view view children for querying multiple elements from the view content child for querying a single element projected into contents using the ng content Content children for querying the multiple element projected into the ng content. So these are all the four examples we have already seen in our previous video. So I want to tell you another step, another important concept. There is nothing but required queries, which we haven't covered it about this one. So required queries. For example, let's say that sometimes you want to enforce that a query must always find at least one result. Example, a view child query should never be undefined. So you can use dot required to make sure a query is mandatory. If no result is found means angular will throw a runtime error. So this is one thing. And also another one which I want to explain you is the query availability timing. So when it will be available. So when angular builds a component, there is a period where the signal query has been created, but the template has not been fully processed. During this time, the queries will return undefined for a single result query like view child an empty array for multiple result queries like view children so this one is already we have seen it so query results also you need to understand that query results are also resolved lazily meaning angular will only process and update the query when you explicitly read the signal so the another one is query declarations and usage so these are all the important concepts which you need to understand before before using the signal based queries query declaration and usage you can only declare signal based queries in class properties these functions should not be called in other parts of the component example in a constructor now let's walk through a complete example step by step so i want to try to do let's create an angular component so we already have an angular component like computer signal so we we will uh, we in our uh, computer signal dot component dot html file so let's say that we will be having some code so let's say i will be having a div element let's say that this is a required element so required element okay and I am required so I will be using I am required that's it so now we will be having an another one so I will be having another one due element so I am optional optional means so this one will be coming as an with an ng if okay fine let's try to add an ng if I will add an ng if and here show element I will use a method that is nothing but a uh, signal signal value show element so we'll try to add it this one so here you will be having okay and we will be having another button okay so here toggle optional element so i will be using the option toggling the optional element and i will click on this one so that you will be able to see the toggle element so this is this is the code which i will be trying to show you and in our signal component.ts file i will try to remove this entire code and here what i will try to do so let's take the required element is equal to view child so this one we know that this is a required so you can use the dot required and here this is the required element that's it and we will be having an optional element so you know that you know the, uh, we have an optional element view child so you can have it optional means optional element that's it and we will be having an another one is nothing but show element so we have a signal value right show element i will be having a show element and this one is a signal of so at the first time i will keep it as a false so it controls whether the optional limit is shown in or not so now okay so here in our ng after view in it so we know that in this one the 
all the elements will be available right so i will try to console dot log this dot required element okay and i will need to have an optional element also so here i will try to do optional element that's it so now if you go here and if you okay toggle element so we need to have a toggle element also so here i will try to do it yeah in our thing so we will have a toggle element method that is nothing but toggle element and in this one what i will try to do is so here this dot show element dot set of not of this dot show element that's it okay let's see the output for this one so here i will be having this code so cannot bind ngf as it is known unknown property means so we need to import the common module here that's it so hopefully now we will be able to get the output yeah so fine i am optional i am required so here we are able to see the output so here we are having a signal of false show element if not of show element if show element is there means then only will show so then why it is showing this one show okay here i need to use like this that's it so now if you try to see the output for this one so here we are able to, not able to show it so here explanation what i want to tell is i will try to explain you the code which i have written so view child dot required so here this query is marked as required angular will throw an error if the element is missing and we are having optional view child this query is optional it might return undefined when the element is not in the dom so we are using a using a signal show element to control whether the optional element is displayed or hidden so now ng after init we can access both the query results required element is guaranteed to exist so it locks the element optional element so now if i try to uh, show the output for this one so here we are able to see it is an undefined why because optional element is not available so if i try to click on this toggle thing so we are not able to show the toggle thing why so here uh, okay we'll try to update this one value is equal to i don't know not a value so let's try to check it like this maybe i'm thinking of something like this so let's try to see the output yeah so now we are able to see the toggling thing so now we are able to see it's an undefined so now uh, toggling so we we add a button to toggle the visibility of the optional element since virtual returns a signal it, its value will be updated lazily based on whether the element is present in the dom or not understanding the query timing and errors by marking a query as required so now if you try to see an element for example if i try to keep this one as a required field so now what will happen let's see then it will throw an error for you so runtime error so you will get a runtime error why because we have marked this one as an required field but that one is an optional so this is how we can use the required field in order to throw an error or you not in order to get an undefined value uh, so understanding the query timing so by making a query as required means so query enforces the query must return always return a result if the result is not available means it will encounter a runtime error i have shown i already shown you about this one so this is all about the uh, signal based view child and all those since required query so the summary of this one which i want to explain you is so the reactivity the first one is why we need to use this one is first concept is the reactivity query results are exposed as signals which can be used in computed or effect signals lazy resolution results are resolved on demand when you access the signals making the process more efficient stricter type safety so this is the main thing by marking queries as required you eliminate undefined from the type signature whenever the result is mandatory so that's a, that's the main thing this approach allows you to handle the query results in a more reactive and a predictable way aligning with angular overall signal architecture so this is all about the querying of the things in a signal based queries or view child and the content child so hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video i will try to give the reply and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you